This is Ryan again with your News in 90. The impacts of Hurricane Irma are still being felt in Citrus County. The Withlacoochee River is rising, threatening homes, boat ramps, and roads. The county is trying to keep people informed, closing boat ramps and distributing sandbags. People living on the river are holding on, hoping the waters will soon start backing down. Citrus County is passing out sandbags at two sites near the river to help people protect what they can. The county is hoping the sandbag distribution can come to an end sometime today. A Florida woman has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder in connection to a 27-year-old killer clown cold case. In 1990, Marlene Warren was fatally shot by a clown at the front door of her home in Wellington, Florida. Now, police say they've identified the alleged killer as Sheila Keen Warren, who later married Marlene Warren's widower, Michael. Sheila Warren was arrested Tuesday in Virginia without incident, according to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Saudi Arabia announced a royal decree has been issued allowing women to drive. It will be the first time women in the Middle Eastern country can legally get behind the wheel. The ruling is expected to go into effect by June. In the past, women have been fined or imprisoned if caught driving. This change has huge implications for the Saudi economy and women's ability to work. This is just the latest in a series of changes rippling through the country since the rise of 32-year-old Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.